G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, it's Monday night here in Australia, so it's Monday morning over in the States, and we're all waiting to see what Bitcoin's going to do, because there is something interesting that we need to keep in mind, uh, and this is pretty interesting as well, but I think I'll hold the more interesting part for just a little bit later. So gold is being sold heavily on the Asian market at the moment, and BTC is going up. So it's just a very quick little article here. It doesn't really go into too much at all. It's more just a headline than anything. But let's go over here and have a look. And we can see gold's been going down for quite some time since back here, since the 5th of August, it's been going down. Still fluctuating up and down. Now, unfortunately, I bought uh, almost around the 5th of August uh, some gold, not quite the exact top, but I wasn't too far off. And it's just kept coming down and down and down uh, and down. And this is the gold and silver index, but basically the price of gold uh, has come right down at the moment. So let's have a look what Bitcoin's doing though. And Bitcoin has been going up. We can get rid of these lines now. That was for the, I think, 15 minute or 45 minute. And Bitcoin. So it came down as low as sort of 16,000, I thought it was 16,300. It says 16,000, basically 200 here. Uh, and now it's bounced. But what we have to do is wait and see if this is going to hold. This could be what they call a dead cat bounce. We won't know. This is on the daily charts. So, you know, we're hoping that that is unlikely and it's going to keep going up. But, you know, things aren't certain. And the reason I'm somewhat scared is we go over to here. There is a CME gap here. So this is where Bitcoin R has opened at about 18,200. This is where it was over the weekend though, so it's missed this it, on Sunday. This is a CME gap right here. Anytime sort of Saturday, Sunday, there's big gaps between where it traded last. They usually close and they're fairly high, like 95%, I think, uh, have closed. So there is every chance that Bitcoin may dip all the way down to sort of around about $17,000. No guarantees though, we may just uh, keep going. Not every uh, CME gap has filled but unfortunately most of them have and look there's still one back at 9600 that may never fill again we just don't know but at the moment we've got one that's fairly close so we'll have to wait and see whether that's going to fill or whether that's going to uh, just kind of disappear into the ether now let's go over to here there's not a whole lot of news really going on at the moment so this won't be an overly long video but let's have a recap uh, 557 billion, it's a couple of minutes old. 554 billion, so there we go, has gone down already. Bitcoin price uh, starting to drop already. It was up around the 18, sort of 4, 18, 5 mark uh, and slowly pulling back. So every chance, again, it's Monday morning, so uh, the CME is ready to open very soon uh, overseas. It's Monday night here in Australia. So we've got to wait and see, is Bitcoin going to go down to 17,000 and fill that gap? Look, if it does, it could be a pretty fast move. Uh, it'll probably only sort of wick down. Uh, but then again, it might not. So we've just got to wait and see. Gas prices are going up though, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, possibly people moving ETH into uh, Ethereum 2.0 because that uh, starts tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I can only imagine that's what's it because it was sitting around sort of 12 and 17 and 18 and all of a sudden it's jumped up to 50. I'd say it's the ETH 2.0 uh, beacon chain stuff that's happening. And BTC sitting around 61%. All right, on the chart here, nothing looks overly interesting. But let's have a look. Are there any sort of gainers? Uh, there was a couple. Aave's pulling back some. Uh, synthetics networks pulling back some. I'm hoping I called that pretty well at the moment. It's looking I called like I called both of these pretty well. They seem to have bounced, but look, if Bitcoin takes a tumble, these will probably tumble as well. We'll just have to wait and see. Yearn finance. So some all right gains. Really, only two kind of double digit gains, and everything is just sort of single digits and more so lower single digits. You know, we do have a couple in the kind of mid single digits, but then we're really getting into the low single digits. And look. Not that many either. Uh, and again, Chainlink, I'm hoping that I called that pretty well the other day. Blockstack's been performing well for a while. Uh, good to see Polkadot doing all right. So there we go. What about losers? Is there anyone who's lost really bad? No, not really. At least in the top 100, 
you know, again, kind of, you know, middle, single, digit, single, middle, God, I'm struggling with the English, middle, single digit losses. And, you know, that's not really too bad. Again, look at the seven days, though. So Nano is down 6.1% in 24 hours, but it's up, you know, nearly 40% in seven days. And again, Zillica, VeChain, all the rest of it, Horizon, 50%. You can almost guarantee that's going to have some reasonable kind of pullback. So things are pretty steady at the moment. But again, it is Monday morning now. The markets are just opening. The big institutional buyers will be getting back in uh, if they're getting in or selling if they're selling. So we just have to wait and see. All I have to say is just be careful at the moment. Uh, good chance that we drop down to $1,700, $16 sort of nine thereabouts, and cover that CME gap, but it's not guaranteed. And if it does happen, I think it'll be bought up awfully fast. Uh, I don't think it'll spend much time down there. So if you're gonna set a buy order, I would probably set it for you know, 17,000, 17,100. Uh, again, I'm not talking about leverage trading. I don't do leverage trading. Just a buy order, set at 17,100, and you know, if you get lucky and it feels sweet. But again, nothing I say is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. It's just my personal opinion. It's something that I might even do. But I want to have more cash sitting on the side at the moment, uh, just in case there's further dips. Uh, and I'm not saying that there will be, but just in case, you know, 17,100, don't get me wrong, not a bad price to buy into Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, but, you know, it could go lower you know there are people talking about that you know 30 40 percent retracement and bitcoin goes back to that thirteen thousand eight hundred thirteen thousand nine hundred dollar level that's where i'd really want to kind of pile into bitcoin if it was going to happen i'm happy to keep you know cash sitting on the side for opportunities like that that do come up but i think that's highly unlikely but anyway that's just my personal opinion let me know what you think. Do you think the CME gap's going to be covered? Are we going to dip down to $17,000 basically sort of today, tonight, depending on where you are, and cover it? And do you think we will recover very quickly? Do you think it'll be a, like a flash, not a flash crash, but a flash dip down to $17,000, uh, quickly covered, and then we push back up to $18,000? Or do you think there's further downside? Are we going down to, you know, the... 16,000s and the 15,000s and maybe even the 14 sort of thousand dollar level. I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. I personally think we'll probably cover the $17,000 mark and then I think we'll start making our way back up. But look, I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. It's, it's not an exact science. It is a guess. It's from your own gut feelings and no one's gut feelings are 100% right. Hit that like button down below. I really do appreciate when you do that. It helps my videos get seen. Hit subscribe down the button. I make daily content. Uh, and, you know, I, on days where there's lots happening, I can provide, you know, a lot more interesting content. And days where there's not really a lot happening, i.e. over the weekends, the news slows down. Uh, obviously, the content, I do my best with what is out there. All right, stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully, you're on that gain train. And I'll see you next time.